Let's say we've just created a wonderfully fun website. We want to share it with the world. How do we make that happen? We need three somewhat related things. First, we need a place to store our website code. Second, we need a place to publish the website to a web server so it's part of the web. And third, we need a URL so users can access the site just like any other site on the Internet. So far in this course, we've seen how GitHub takes care of this first task. GitHub Pages provides these last two. GitHub Pages is a hosting service that can host a website directly from one of our repositories on GitHub. And it doesn't cost any money. Well, that sounds perfect. Let's publish our Pet Cafe website with GitHub Pages. Before we can use GitHub Pages, we need to create a public repository for the website. Previously in this course, we did just that. Here is the Pet Cafe repository on GitHub. The files are here. But how do we share it as a website? In the tab bar, pick Settings. Notice that there are two sets of settings, here and here. Be sure to pick the settings from the repository menu. Scroll down, and we see all sorts of settings for this repository. Scrolling back up, on the left side, we see Categories of Settings. We want the Code and Automation section. Click on Pages for GitHub Pages. This takes us to the GitHub Pages settings. Scrolling down, by default, GitHub Pages is disabled for a repository, so we need to enable it. Under Branch, click Main to select the main branch. And since we want our entire Pet Cafe repository published as a website, pick Root as the folder. Then click Save. We could add a custom domain. Then we could publish the site as petcafe.com or something similar. But let's just go with the default. That's it. That's all we need to do. What now? GitHub says that it could take up to 10 minutes for your site to go live and for changes to your site to be published after you push changes to GitHub. So don't be concerned if you don't see your changes right away. With the magic of video, we've waited for a bit and refreshed the page. And here we see our GitHub Pages URL. Let's click the link. And here's our website. It only has HTML, no CSS so there is no styling. But we see the page directly from GitHub. Wow, amazing! And our links work. Here is our Meet Our Virtual Pets page. Only the YoYo link was defined at this point and takes us to the YoYo Detail page. The Create a Custom Virtual Pet page allows the user to create a custom pet. But the save doesn't work since we don't have a backend server. The View My Pets page wasn't created yet, so clicking that does nothing. Now we just need to make our website pretty, which we'll do later in this series. We can continue to make changes to our website over time. When those changes are pushed to the main branch of the remote repository, they will be published at this URL. We can share this URL with anyone that we want to access our website. Nice! Let's go back to the slides. So that's cool, free web hosting. But there are some considerations. There are usage limits, including the size of the repository, bandwidth, and number of builds. GitHub Pages is not intended for running an online business or other commercial site. In that case, you'll want to look at more traditional web hosting options. It's also subject to a terms of service agreement preventing violent or obscene content. And GitHub Pages does not support any server-side programming languages, such as PHP, ASP.NET, or Python. See the documentation in the lesson links for further details on GitHub Pages. So, we can host a website using GitHub Pages by adding the website code to a public GitHub repository and enabling GitHub Pages. The resulting URL is of this form. For example, this is the one we used in this lesson. 
Now let's finish up this course with some final words and next steps.